Libras, welcome to today's video. We're going to do a rapid fire today. And also, happy birthday to Libra Light. Today is the one year birthday. I was going to sing a little something. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I actually have a very deep voice. Um, I can sing soprano, uh, but I chose to do my low register today. So there's my little soulful voice. Happy birthday, Libras. It's not your birthday, so it's not October or September, but it would be Libra Lights. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to get started. I have a little show and tell. Do you guys remember these little Tamas, Tamagotchis? They're from the 90s. My nephew says, says no battery. How funny. It's in my car because I'm going to be seeing them shortly. I'm going to see my Gemini and my Virgo nephew. Um, yes, I do pay attention to their signs. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm in my Mr. Rogers. This is my Mr. Rogers getup. And we are celebrating, of course, a year of laughter, love, most importantly, the light on the channel. Thank you guys also in the uh, communities area. Thank you guys all for wishing happy birthday. I saw it so late and I, I want to apologize. Uh, it's very hard now since the channel's growing just a tad bit. I do want to wish all of you an internal hug through this video. Thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for following its progress. We're just getting started. The first year is just the kickoff. So thank you guys. Okay, we're going to get started because I, I don't need to be chatty. Me and my Gemini nephew joke about how air signs are chatty. So I'm going to go through your oracle. It's so funny. I drew only from past life today. I went back to this deck and uh, I don't know why past life and um, past circumstances are calling to me because I feel like many of the past clues are going to lead you into your new beginning. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So all the clues are only found here exclusively today on our birthday date. Let me see if you could see the, I think they're doves. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, my leaves. There's two of them meeting there. Take note of that, however that may mean for you. 212 is on the clock too. We have forgiveness. And when you see this oracle from the past life uh, deck, it means you're either forgiving yourself, like 222, oh my gosh. I'm saying all angel numbers today, it's a little crazy. Um, you're either forgiving yourself or somebody around you. Who is this for you today? Could be an overall sense of a situation too. You could be forgiving a past romance, a breakup like I feel here it was so devastating for some of you I'm getting like why am I hearing six years it was six years maybe you were married to this person for six years or it's taken that long for some of you it's maybe taken that long to be single and get over it we also have leaving and travel for some of you um there's a song real quick oh Libra this is going to be an anniversary special do you hear that It's Bon Jovi, yeah, shot through the heart and you're to blame. You give love a bad name, right? When we were holding up forgiveness, okay? There's music like that. It's so weird during a reading, I knew I should leave the radio on. You're forgiving a situation between you and another person, a fallout, a fall from, I'm hearing disgrace. Like maybe in this relationship, there was a lot of back and forth. I get for maybe 60 or 50 of you today and i do see numbers like i see a group of libras from another libra group it's so strange lately this has been happening i feel like some of you came from such a treacherous past that it's it's still hard to overcome and awakening paths are just so painful so i did want to bring that up you also have leaving and travel i'm going to show it one more time leaving and travel suitcase again we uh we mentioned this as a part of uh departed loved ones effects yesterday in yesterday's video so i think this one's yours though this one's yours that you're going to be packing in the spring and summer a lot of you are going to take local trips around with your family or even just by yourself libra so take note of that we're going to get started with the tarot story for our anniversary today this is a um, Maybe I should change it to whatever comes out. Let's do that. Whatever comes out. Sorry about that. Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I'm going to show you one more time. There's a guy here in these jeans, and he's looking intently at you, Libra. Today, this is very much a romantic advance toward the Libra. 
not only is it romantic but also when I look away to and reading as you guys it's because I'm getting a channel and I hear a very specific thing this person is very much in the shadows okay the fear is that if they come out they won't be able to have you that's what I'm getting so the fear is actually expressing more and what's funny about this this kind of tinge in the air is that they feel like if they say something they're gonna ruin it with you this knight of cups it could be anybody libra i feel like some of you have a past person that could come back it's not like they're in your energy i feel like they just could come back so if this is a new person too i feel like they want to get you a little gift okay and also i sense like a very small gift too but it will mean a lot for you so there's a knight of cups or maybe they've been watching you and spying for more information like seeing what you love to do and where you go I get that like it's a location thing for this person to make a marker of that next in shuffle was the queen of swords this is you this is libra primal energy <laughs> this is like this is your orangutan energy libra it's so crazy because i'm kind of like today i'm wearing the baby blue and it's in this card and i'm a libra too i'm a libra son Okay, take note of the flags. I immediately saw that when I touched the card. She's staring off, and those are the flags of her support, what's holding her, also her truth. Those are like her truth flags. I love how it's primary colors too. I love how it's blue, yellow, and red there. And that's what it takes to begin a painting. So Libra, you're at the spot right now where you don't take bullshit. You don't take the bullshits. Um, you're, you're at this point in your life where you have so much inner confidence i feel like some of you also are like very empressy today if we get the card and shuffle i feel like it will be a miracle too because i feel like a lot of you are taking charge of a situation you're also very confident even in your appearance uh some of you could have said something really sharp to someone and they were like blown away the that's what i'm getting is like you said something and someone was just taken aback by how you speak so good on you good on you if that's you okay eight of wands this one was a popper i stopped it i saw it the eight of wands as you know is about messages it's also about people that want to reach out to you right it's not always about a person from the past getting in your inbox this eight of wands i feel like it's a special person that's going to come through for you okay it could be an old friend uh for some of you ladies i'm getting like a girlfriend from the past has kind of been watching too seeing what you're up to um why am I hearing if they have kids yet or if they're married yet? There's someone that's been spying on you, but I get for you girls, it's like I'm getting a she. That's what I hear. She, it's a girl. So eight of wands, interesting. I'm going to have to clarify that later. Uh, show me the romance messages for Libra these next three minutes. I'm going to kind of do it like Tyler Tarot. His was good last night. You guys should have, you should have streamed Tyler's Tarot last night. He's kind of mild though on YouTube now. He's mild, huh? Okay, flipper, the three of swords. So I know that this is a core card today. This is about your journey. Libra light started off for my three of swords. Honestly, that's how it began. So uh, I healed from it. I learned so much about tarot in specific. I learned every meaning of the cards and I'd review them and I was like, why don't I have a channel or a space yet? And that's something that I feel a lot of you are tuning into you found that you have a spiritual gift. You found something that you can share with the world, okay? With the world, because literally there's people that will watch this all the way in Africa, in Texas. Um, they'll watch it from all over and they'll be able to relate to you on a very, very keynote personal level. So the Three of Swords here is to remind you, don't forget where you came from today, okay? Don't forget where you came from. Some of you can be in this in the current too. You could be getting over someone. I do feel tiny residual feelings but for the most of you and the lot of you it's going away okay the three of swords is a core card for me today what's the challenge show me the challenge please and thank you <laughs> i'm just joking okay i'm too much sometimes the six of swords reverse what did i say what did i say what did i say you have the three of swords here and that was being channeled certain cards are not current for me i take them whatever way i see them you guys may have spotted that in the last few reads too. The Six of Swords reversed means that we are coming out of a pathway. It also leads to a new beginning. Beginning, excuse me. I have to talk fast. Um, <laughs> also too, I can't help but notice the crows. 
they seem to be, if you look at it upright, it's a lot of stress. We're still healing. Over here, it almost looks like they are uh, shielding her from anything new that is to happen. Do you get what I'm saying, Libra? It's like anything new, it almost looks like a roof, like the crows are forming a roof for the girl. Amazing. Or maybe I'm just weird and I see it that way. <laughs> okay, a little bit more, a little bit more here. The challenge too could be that you're healing too slow. I also feel that too, and I'm realistic in, in the reads. I'll tell you if I feel like something's very, very slow to learn from. Uh, it could feel like some days you don't want to, <laughs> and that's fine. We've all been there. Give me a little bit more for romance. So you would be healing, but you're coming out of it. And that's the challenge is like not knowing what's at the end of the rainbow here. Okay. You could be afraid to fall in love again, to be hurt. Spirit says, stop the page of wands, the fool and the hermit. I'm just going to hold them up as a group. You're being advised to think about it just a tad bit more. Okay. Also what your romantic situations are going to give you as a prize. Is this person going to be your best friend? And as they should, they should be your best friend and your lover. The hermit here, some of you definitely have Virgo somewhere. Okay. I'm catching that. And the fool is your new journey. Just to cap off there. Give me a little bit more on the love energy for our anniversary special. It's going to be a short, sweet one, Libra. And then um, I'm going to really try. Today is very hard to do a reading for me just based off of my personal sketch. And I pick up the kids and I drop them off. So I'm going to see today if I can. I'm just being honest with you. It's the anniversary, but it's so damn hard to film today. <laughs> That's hence why I'm in the car. Okay, let's see. The Chariot again. Chariot Energy Major Arcana. Is that a unicorn? It looks like it has a horn, the white one, okay? Again, pictures. I might have to take pictures. You have the Queen of Wands. You have the Death card, okay? That was in our predictions video. I do want to show you because the colors are speaking to me today. We see here magentas, reds, oranges, all the color of passion. Uh, also of vitality. I love that word lately, vitality. Anything that made you sad in the past is here to teach you a lesson about yourself about people, even about the people that are trying to be there for you too. I feel like some people are going to come through for you. And all of your positivity cards in this quick little sit down today are these three for me. You have so much like magenta energy, magic, love again for life. Um, I hope the camera picked it up. Oh, it's so beautiful. So sunlight coming in. I think some of you are also having a good day too, wherever you dwell. Give me more, a little bit more for love, angels and spirit. I open my heart to you now. Thank you, Flipper, King of Swords. So someone's going to be telling you the, they might take a moral high ground in the very beginning, be very strong. I don't think this is you today because it's Gemini energy. I feel like this is someone around you, okay? Um, again, I'm getting like it's a water sign that behaves like this or it's a fire sign who behaves like this. So you're going to be hearing some type of truth. I'm getting for very very few of you maybe three or four that this is going to be from a family member even i'm getting family okay uh it could possibly be another libra gemini aquarius in the family and this is to help you out so they're telling you to help you okay very very small group though and we have the magician to end on libra lights i gotta do a romance read because i was feeling something else and i'll unveil that later what i was feeling um for some reason though the the energy that I was looking for, it came midway, but it didn't fully come through. And I know I felt that before. We have the magician energy here. As you know, this is about your dreams now. Okay. This is about what you want to do in a situation that provides financial security for the rest of your life. For some of you, you're open to passive income. Uh, why am I getting so much financial information right now? Um, you're open to having a business here. At home, if you have kids, you're willing to stretch that muscle and also have something that you go to and you're willing to make the sacrifice. Libra, big, big word, sacrifice. I don't think I've ever said that in a reading. Or it could be that you already make tons of sacrifices and you're about to be extended a miracle here. Miraculous energy too. Give me three last cards here at the end of their reading, please. And thank you, Spirit. Thank you guys too for joining me. Um, I do want to do another love reading later. Okay, I want to do a yours and theirs. So stay tuned for that. Seven of Swords. 
Seven of Swords. Somebody here is going to be making a plan toward you. I do feel like it's somebody you know. It's someone also too in the vicinity. They also are aware of your socials. I was just etched to tell you that they know of your socials and they keep track of you uh lately it's been very light it's been lifted from how heavy it was before that's what i'm hearing but they're about to go back to really studying you libra so pay attention to that energy and it's about i hate to say this but i'm getting it it's definitely about the way you do things that might seem so in your face and i apologize five of swords the moon and the hierophant Somebody wants to marry you, okay, but there's too much pain here from the past. Too much pain. They don't know if they actually could work through it. If this is a new person too, I sense this is a type of curiosity with the moon. Some things are still a mystery about the beautiful Libra, but I think that's where you like to keep it, is things mysterious about yourself. You don't want to be easily guessed. You don't want to be someone who's predictable, okay? And you're not for God's sakes. So remember that I love this energy. I'm just going to repeat it because the cards are so freaking beautiful. This is your next upcoming energy at the end here. Forgiveness, travel, and a knight of cups. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Happy birthday and anniversary. Um, if you want, just for fun, go watch some old ones. Go watch some very, very old Libra videos. See if they resonate for your timeline now. That's what I like to do with other readers. It's fun. It's experimentative. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I've had, um, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I've had the best year. Getting really, <laughs> I'm going to cry. I've had the best year with all of you. I've been so emotional lately. I don't know why. Maybe you guys have too. I feel like a few of you maybe have had this like spurts of crying. I'm so grateful to have met you. I love each and every one of you who have come here, subscribed, and honestly, I'm getting choked up. I feel like all of the stories I've heard, they're very relatable. You guys are very relatable viewers. I love you here every day. I read for you. I hope that you find solace in this journey. Um, there's a couple other videos the past few days. They might be helpful for you. Thank you so much. Namaste. And I hope you have a beautiful Libra light day.